Hey guys, welcome to Bumpy TV. So today I'm checking out another amazing video guys. This is by Christian Prince. He says it would prove that Jesus was God using the Quran itself. Guys, we've been going through this a one-way street since about the Muslims, the Muslims, the Muslims. Then, so, so Muslims actually said I should check out Christian Prince. Like I should try and balance the equation. So guys. When I'm checking this out, some of you say he's paid to do false debates. He's what say he's a scam, but I don't believe that guys. Like I feel you shouldn't judge someone before you know them and it's wrong. You don't. You just have to listen to the person first. And I I know most of you as I'm gonna listen to this, but that's also cool guys. Those of us who is really interested in the truth and I feel are open minded. Let's get straight into this. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? You see, I have patience. I let you. I lose in my voice, keep repeating the same question. How many times, guys, each time I ask a Muslim a question, I have to repeat it? Do you know this? Because they won't answer. They will never answer. They will jump to a different topic. They will jump from a topic to a topic to a topic like monkeys. How are you saying Islam is a strict religion? I never said Islam is a strict religion. Islam is a lousy religion. Islam is a religion without panty. Islam is the most perverted religion ever. Where is the strict? Even the hijab <clears throat> was not because Muhammad, he cared for Muslim women. Because Omar was spying at the wife of Muhammad and he was like in their ass. Yes. What is the hijab is about? The Muslim they lie to us and they say hijab because we are conservative. You are not conservative. Omar was making fun of the ass of Sauda. Arifnaki ya Sauda. Oh, we recognize you, Sauda. Recognize what? How you recognize her from her ass? And this is why Omar he said, Allah he sent the Quran as I said. As I said. What you said. I am the one who said, make hijab. I am the one who said, make the Kaaba the worship a place. Hmm. Omar said, and look here by the way, the false translation of the Muslim, this is why I say, be careful when Muslim translate, he says, here, I agreed with Allah in three things, but in Arabic it says, وَفَقَنِي Rabbi fi thalat. My Lord agreed with me in three things. My Lord. I said, Oh Allah, would you that take the station of Abraham as a place of prayer? Allah, he agreed. He took as uh, uh, Omar, he said, he put it in the Quran. He gave it to Muhammad right away. I said that people before they enter the, to the house of Muhammad, they have to ask for permission and the mother of the believers, they have to cover themselves. Allah, he sent the verses as I said. Muhammad told by Omar, and Omar told the wife of Muhammad, if you don't behave, Allah will divorce you and replace you. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend, Abdul Rahim. How are you? Abdul Rahman. I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, Abdul Rahman? Um, well, uh, I've been uh, following uh, uh, you for quite a while, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought uh, let's uh, let's call you once. Uh, did you um, decide? Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet, my friend? Uh, <laughs> not yet, actually. Okay. Do you? What do you think about this uh, hadith in front of us that Allah He agreed with Omar? How God He agreed with Omar? 
sorry, uh, which one? Oh, this, the, the hadith uh, we are showing the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. Omar, he said that Allah uh, agreed with me. Allah agreed yes. with me in many things. And one of them, as an example, he said that Allah, he is the one uh, 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 you know, took from me to make the Kaaba a place of worship. I said, oh, uh, oh Messenger of Allah, read the hadith with me. I said, oh Allah, Messenger, why do not take the maqam of Ibrahim a place of a prayer? Then the following verse revealed, and take your people to maqam of Ibrahim as a place of prayer, exactly as Omar he said. Why Omar he says something right away, Omar, uh, Omar word became Quran. Who is Omar? He's a prophet. Uh, actually, I'm a Shia. Oh, you are a Shia? Uh, Muslim. Uh, the Shia? No problem. Yes. We can go to the Shia. The Shia, they have a lot of funny stories too. Do you want to share some stories right. about the Shia with you? What do you think about the Shia belief? Well, I'm, I'm actually uh, confused uh, lately uh, uh, about it. Uh, I am uh, uh, born in uh, Europe and uh, especially uh, uh, lately I've uh, I've had many uh, uh, doubts about the belief, but the problem is that the Shia, um, I can't uh, find uh, much in uh, English. Uh, uh, I don't speak uh, hmm. with Arabic, so... Yeah, but um, you know, but, but, but at the end of the day, you, you have to take the Quran at least, right? And the Quran is yes. still is a stupid book. It doesn't matter if you are a Shia or a Sunni. So the Quran itself is being stupid, and the, the Shia books is the same as garbage. I mean, when when your biggest scholar he said, no, no, like see, I know even if even if uh, like to be honest, even if it's let's say he believe guys, maybe ask yourself we don't believe in Quran, but even if we don't. Yo, the books is sacred though. And if you don't call something sacred stupid, you don't. Even if he's trying to like, I know he's trying to like convert people to crazy, and that is good, that's fine. But even if, okay, even if we believe the Quran isn't, I don't know if I will say the Quran isn't from God because. I feel there's one part of the Quran that has seen as things in the Bible, so I don't know, but like, if I can say, even if he believes the Quran is in fact, but you, you don't have the right to call something so who sacred, stupid, it's not just right, yo. We have to mind our words, bro. Like, your life, guys, like, if I'm gonna say this, damn, bro. Guys, let's get back into this though. But that wasn't cool. That wasn't quite yeah, that. If you that. wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. I mean, obviously, this guy is a scam. Right? What? If you wear a black shoe, uh, your penis, you, you will lose vision. I don't know. How good is your vision? Uh, how good is your vision? Uh, is, do you wear glasses? Yes. Oh, see? I think you are wearing black shoes then. Are you wearing <laughs> black shoes, my friend? Uh, well, I have uh, many shoes actually. Many. Well, you are a rich guy, not like me. For me, I wear only black <laughs> shoes. So, and this is what happened to me exactly, as in the hadith. It says, Babu Karahati Lipsunnal, hadith number 5931. He said, And Abi Abdullah, salam, Abi Abdullah, may Allah bless him, he said that he looked at some of his companions and they are wearing a black shoe. So he said to them, what's up with you, with the black shoe? Don't you know that is going to damage your vision, which means your eyes, and is going to make your penis useless? <coughs> hmm? And then he advised them actually to wear yellow shoes, because if you wear yellow shoes, your penis will be powerful. <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, this is in uh, uh, Al-Kafi or... This is Al-Kafi. Let me give you a reference, my friend. 
This is Al-Kafi. Yeah. Uh, variant number six, page number four six uh, four six five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is in the uh, can be exist in more actually not only one reference like uh, Nawab Nawab Al Amal uh, page number forty three uh, uh, Al Khisal ninety nine fifty. Okay. All right. And you know those yeah. those books are full of garbage. I mean it's all over. It's not like one one time deal. It's madness. It's all over, you know. Mm. As an example, but, uh, you know, if if the watermelon is uh, sweet, it is a Shia. If the watermelon is <laughs> sour, it is Sunni. All right. Yeah. And if you wear white shoes, let us talk about shoes today. <laughs> if you wear white shoes, what will happen? Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, if you wear white shoes, you will earn a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> and that explains why I'm poor. I never wear <laughs> white shoes. I'm going to go right now to the mall and buy a white shoe. Should I buy one for you? In my way? <laughs> yeah. uh, I have white um, shoes though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, this is uh, weird. I have to admit, actually, uh, many things, but um, yeah. Um, do you know uh, there's a, g a guy? Um, his name is uh, Al uh, Al Ghazi. Al -Ghazi. Uh, do you know him? Al Ghazi. Yes. Yeah. What about? He him? speaks Arabic. Um, He's, uh, um, have, uh, have you uh, actually listened to him? Uh, or oh, you mean uh, this is guy in YouTube? I, I I know somebody from history. His name is Ghazi. Uh, this is a different person. Okay. All right. I know uh, this no, uh, no. new guy. Uh, no, he has, I, I, uh, I never heard of him. No. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Never heard of him. So, uh, the, the thing what uh, confused me is that uh, he claims that uh, Shia, even they have... Uh, go uh, astray uh, uh, the last uh, centuries, uh, maybe uh, even the last thousand years. So uh, he claims that uh, uh, the, the Shia scholars uh, nowadays uh, they uh, they don't really f uh, follow the uh, Ahl al Bayt uh, the teachings of them, and uh, that they are actually. Uh, influenced by the Sunnis, and uh, because the Sunnis were uh, always yeah. But in, what what uh, is power. his source? What his source? Like what book he advised you to read? Then all the Shia books source. Al Kafi. He, uh, Al Kafi. He we are laughing now. Aren't you, aren't you? Didn't you laugh a second ago? This is Al Kafi. Al Kafi is the true okay. resource, right? Okay. Al Kafi yeah. is full of stupid stories. Mm. So if if the Shia were influenced by the Sunni, and the, the following Al Kafi is the right thing. Well, how in the world, like as an example, in, in you know, uh, 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 one of the hadith says uh, uh, that Amir al muminin he said that the, the servant of Allah, they have womb inside them like women. And then they ask him, so why they don't get a bread net? He said, because it's upside down, mankusa, and they have in their anus a, 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 a pimple. The, the same as the pimple of the camel. So if they got horny, get horny with them. If they got if if if, if this uh, if this pimple uh, be quiet, they will get quiet, which means they will not be horny. So this guy is saying to you, uh, oh, you are deceived because you follow the Sunni. They are not following the Sunni. They are following the Shia. This is the this is the all those are the hadith of of uh, of your leaders. The, the family of Muhammad, not only leaders. The family of Muhammad. Yeah, true. The the twelve uh, imams yeah. from the imams. Yeah, Abi, yes. Abi Abdullah is one of them. He says, uh, uh, if uh, if the uh, if the human being, if your child, uh, like when he is born, if his penis is small, uh, then uh, he will not be, uh, you know. Uh, uh, like he will be he will not be let us say uh, harmful if his penis is small but if his mm. penis is big you have to be watched 
No, I mean, what, 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 what penis and what, uh, what, you know, this is, it's garbage. So this guy is asking you to go back to the origin, and this is the origin. Yes, but uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, Shia uh, don't have uh, such uh, hadith like uh, breastfeeding or. Um, my friend, yeah. my friend, the, bre like. the breastfeeding is not a hadith for the Shia or the Sunni. This is was a verse in the Quran. Uh, I mean, uh, that, yeah. This is was a verse, you know. Uh, oh. For in the Quran was not a Shia or Sunni. You know, Quran is not Shia, neither Sunni, Sunni right? True. So as long as it was a verse in the Quran, then how they can say we don't have that? Uh, well, uh, because the hadith that uh, that uh, tells us uh, <laughs> about this uh, Sahih al Bukhari, right? Uh, mm. No, that, okay, we can find you that, something that, that, equal. We can find you something equal from different books. As an example, uh, uh, if you go in the book, it's called Wasa'il Shia, hadith number 259441. It says, mm, I don't know that book. Uh, what is that? Wasa'il Shia. Let me, let me uh, see if I can get you. Uh, hold on, let me search for it and um, uh, get you the reference. Put it in the screen. Give me a second. <laughs> Because I know uh, Al Kafi, but yeah, um, yeah, the same. This, this is a very authentic book, too. Uh, here it says, uh, Oh, I found this website, but but anyway, uh, the guy he is speaking that when he was debating uh, with the Sunni, uh, they spoke about uh, breastfeeding for adults. Uh, let me see mm -hmm. if I can find you. I want something else. Hold on. I want the reference right away, not here. This is just a form. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we don't like uh, uh, Aisha, and uh, yeah, it's actually uh, really different uh, about the uh, Sahaba, the view in uh, Shia Islam. Right. Yeah. Well, the, the the Shia, the Shia, they hate Aisha, yes, and they think even they claim that she killed Muhammad. This is the reference here. Was it Shia? It says, "إذا رضع الرجل من لبن امرأة حرم عليه كل شيء من ولدها." If a man he did suckle a woman, it's forbidden for him everything from her children. Do you see it? So you have Rada al Kabir. You have the same, you know, breastfeeding for adult. Like, uh, can you uh, repeat it uh, once, please? Uh, the book of uh, Wasa'il uh, hadith yes. number 25941. If a man he suckled from a woman, a woman, a man and a woman, it's forbidden for him anything have to do with her children, which means he cannot sleep with her children. Mm -hmm. hmm. So you have the breastfeeding. This is exactly, actually, the, the, the Sunni, they are more open for that. Because if you have, uh, you see, he can sleep with her still, but supposedly he cannot sleep with her kids, which is funny. So the Sunni, they have almost the same thing, but the difference is you can sleep with her and you can sleep with her children. So what's the point of this breastfeeding for adult? No? Uh, hmm. Okay, but... Yeah. Same time, same time, the Quran forbid Muslims to do... Uh, uh, um, what they call it adoption, correct? Okay, we forbid them to do adoption, but we allow you to do adoption by breastfeeding, <coughs> because the Quran confirm if you if you do breastfeeding not only for adult, uh, like the adult you can have sex with the adult even if you do breastfeeding, but if you have if you do breastfeeding for a child, then that child became like your son. So how that can happen? How we forbid adoption, and then we say that if a person, if a, a baby, he did the breastfeeding for a woman, he became like her son. What is the connection? I don't know. 
My friend, I don't know. I, I, for me, I, I am here. I would be happy to hear from you that you decide to leave Islam. This is a stupid religion. Shia or Sunni, it doesn't matter. I can show you tons of reference. All of them, they say the same garbage. I cannot find something, you know, lawful or something logical in, 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 in this cult. So if you think the Sunni are, you know, are stupid, well, you better think twice because the Shia, they are not better. No? Okay, well, um, uh, <laughs> I want to ask you some uh, 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 questions uh, uh, since you speak uh, Arabic uh, well and you have uh, studied uh, also uh, Shia uh, sources, uh, I guess. So, mm -hmm. uh, what I've actually uh, heard uh, all my life is that uh yeah um, uh, I, I don't know uh, how to call them in uh, english they say uh, nawasid um, nawasid yeah. like yeah uh, they have actually made uh, the uh, they have uh, actually caused uh, islam uh, to get a uh, um, an ugly image and uh, distorted uh, everything. Uh, uh, even uh, when I uh, when I talk with uh, Shia about this, uh, scholars uh, they say yes, uh, uh, that's uh, true. Uh, the first uh, sixty years of the uh, uh, spread of uh, Islam, and even after that, was uh, very violent. But uh, that was against the Ahl al-Bayt, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what the Prophet actually wanted and uh, and the, uh, the, the friend, 12 did, did Ali, did, did Ali, hold on, did Ali according to Islam did kill a lot of people, yes or no? According to Shia, he killed, he slaughtered a lot of people, even he burned, he burned people alive. So when they say to you this is the enemy of Islam, and this is not right, and this is not what Islam. Ali himself was a bigger criminal. Muhammad himself was a bigger criminal. What are they talking about? Sunni or Shia, it doesn't matter. They are lying to you, my friend. Mm, but um, uh, uh, what do they say uh, about uh, Ali then? Uh, um, yes. Uh, what did he do? Like My friend, my friend, Ali, Ali simply... <clears throat> Is uh, let us say he was because he, he married the daughters of Muhammad, which is not his daughter, those are the daughters of Khadija. But because he supposedly is close to Muhammad and he is his cousin, correct? Wait, wait, uh, he married uh, Fatima, uh, that's the daughter of Muhammad. Uh, yes, but this is not his daughter. Muhammad don't have daughter, never have daughters. This is a lie. Muhammad, he cannot have mm. kids. This is why. Uh, uh, there was a guy making fun of him that he cannot have kids. You see, the, the Muslim when they say that Muhammad, he have a children. In the Shania, laptop, you mean right, that? Right, right. When they right, say right, in right, uh, right. school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the man who was making fun of him because he cannot have children, and uh, based on that, Allah he made a verse which is very funny which does not make sense and God cannot say, should not say such a thing. If you read together, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the, the merciful, uh, this is not in the verse, Muslim added, which means the whole verse is three, the whole chapter is three verses, which is one of the most funny. Surely you have given the kawsar. What is the kawsar? The kawsar is a river which is very pure white. Okay, what does this have to do? Why I'm saying to Muhammad, I give you the kawsar if it's a river? What does this have to do with the guy accusing Muhammad that his penis is not working? Therefore, pray to your Lord. Okay, what does that mean? And sacrifice. And then he says, Surely your enemy is the one who shall have without be a uh, uh, prosperity. But the, the guy, he have many kids. But the fact, the fact, it did not say even he will not have without children. He says he is the after, he is the one who don't have a penis. The Muslim, hmm. they say, that after here is about not having kids. Okay. Why Allah don't make Muhammad have kids to prove this guy wrong? Instead of making a statement, he is the one who will have no kids. But later we find that Muhammad have no kids. You know what I mean? But, okay. If, but, if you are, uh, if you are I, calling uh, me, uh, my yeah. friend, my friend, if you are calling me and making fun of me because I don't have kids, and I am prophet of God, and God decide to defend me, 
Who is the one defending Muhammad here? Allah supports it, right? Mm -hmm, right? Okay, what is the benefit of saying he is the one who will be cut off? What about making Muhammad having children? So to prove to them that he will go, God can give him children. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Mm. What the point is, it's like two women, they are fighting. One of them saying, oh, your husband, he cannot have sex. This is why you cannot get a bread net. The other one, she says, it is your husband. He cannot have sex and you will not have babies. Mm -hmm. This is God talking like this. <laughs> if God is talking, he should say, okay, let me show you. Here we go. Muhammad, your wife, she will, he have 13 wives. He could not make one of them bread net. Oh. He cannot even, the Muslim, they say that his uh, Mary, the cop, she deliver him a, a child. His name is Ibrahim, which is a big fat lie. Even Ayesha, she said, he don't even look like you. So, uh, Muhammad, obviously, he is a potent man. He cannot have sex. He, you know, even the Hadith says that the, the Prophet, he used to imagine himself having sex. Yeah. When Ayesha, uh, she tried to play with him. Uh, Bukhari, right? Yeah, no problem. Uh, but here we go. The Quran confirmed that, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have a problem. And why Allah is promising me a river in a topic which is about a penis? Why? Because this Al Kawsar is a river, must be a river of a sperm. This is why it's very white like milk. So, Muhammad here is saying that Allah, He promised me that my penis will work in heaven, not here. All right? But if God is talking, He should make Muhammad have babies. Here we go, Abraham, his wife, she was old. And there's no way she can get a breath net. And she gave up. God, he made Abraham wife get a bread net. Why Allah cannot make Muhammad do do the same to Muhammad if people are making fun of him and now he is he's not even deaf, he is he heard and he decided to defend him. So what the point of saying surely he is the one who will have no children? It's a stupid conversation. Yeah. Actually, um uh, about that uh, surah um uh, what I uh, know, uh, um, I don't know uh, if it is true, but uh, they say that uh, the meaning of Al Kawthar is uh, the daughter of uh, Muhammad uh, Fatima. Uh, uh, this is Shia interpretation. Right. Yeah, Shia, yeah, Shia. They come. What I have heard, but uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't uh, verified it or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see, and this is one of the stupid things in the in the in Islam. Everyone here we go. One he think it's a river and one he think it's a daughter and there's a huge difference. Same time, surely we have given you Al Kawthar, okay? So the guy is saying to him, You will not you will not have a children's and in, in uh, uh, if if the Shia confirm that we gave you Al Kawthar, that's mean the guy who accusing him is not making an accurate statement. Because he have Al Kawthar and this is a daughter, right? But this is not an answer, really. Al Kawthar never been a name of daughter of Muhammad. He can say, We give you Fatima. Correct? Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, actually, uh, there are many uh, verses in the Quran. Uh, uh, this one means uh, Ali, uh, uh, the other, um, uh, Hassan, uh, Hussein. And, yeah, they fabricate uh, things, always, they fabricate me. I always uh, think. Oh, uh, why could uh, uh, why could uh, uh, God not uh, mention it uh, explicitly, like uh, Ali or right. Hassan was saying, if uh, if they are uh, the the center of my, yeah, my, my uh, friend Shia, they, they are Shia, the they decide Shia. They are the same as the Muslim. Both of them, they worship Muhammad and his family. But everyone, he have his own way. Uh, you know, uh, the Shia they focus in the whole family. The Sunni, they focus on Muhammad, but it's the same madness. Both they believe that Muhammad is above mankind. To the point that Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad, the Shia, they say they wrote even the name of Ali. Correct? That's true, So, yes. so yes. Uh, 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 the Sunni, they say, if not you, Muhammad, Allah never created all mankind. So the whole creation of the world is created because of Muhammad. The Shia, they have the same. If not Ali and Fatima and Muhammad and Hassan and Hussein, Allah created not nothing in this world, right? Right. Yes. You know, you know That's the story of of an angel. His name is Fotros. No. Okay. 
I'm not saying it to make fun of you because you're a Shia. Don't be inf- don't be offended, okay? Oh, the- I, I actually, uh, uh, before you uh, continue, I uh, I don't know uh, what I am. Uh, Why you don't uh, say I am out of Islam, man? <laughs> Just say it to me. Come on, be a man. You are a man. You are smarter than this. Just say I am out of this cult. <laughs> to be honest, uh, uh, I want to be hundred uh, percent sure. You know, uh, like my friend, what is more than hundred percent that all the fabrication you see in front of you? What can what kind of one hundred percent that God do not remember which one He created first, the trees or the stars? What kind of God He says women they have a sperm coming from their ribs, and all of us we knew women they have no sperm. I mean, what more what what more do you want? I know, yeah, they saw all uh, truth, but. Okay, I uh, I promise you that I will uh, continue uh, uh, researching these things, and then in the future uh, I will uh, call you uh, right. again, and then uh, I will make a decision. But uh, I have the.